Hello and uh, welcome to an outdoor raggy beer review. Um, literally the last part of the day um, and the light is starting to go. Um, just picked my son up from karate. So anyway, we're going over to Titanic Brewery uh, for one of their modern traditionals and it's Captain Smith. Smith's rather. Strong ale, 5.2%. There is some writing on the back. A traditional strong ale, first brewed in 1986 in honour of Stoke-born Edward Smith, the captain of the Titanic. You see, Ruby, you smell sweet malt biscuit. You taste strong dried fruit. So, there we go. That's a bit of burning going off somewhere around here. Right. Got this from Matlock Bod. Um, nope. Yeah, Matlock Bod from our Matlock trip. And uh, that was a nice weekend away. Um, well, technically one day. <laughs> one, uh, one overnight stay. Uh, and there we go. So, Ruby Paul, Ruby Amber. You know, it looks amber in this light. Yeah, definitely can smell the dried fruit on the aroma. It reminds me in some ways of like um, dried fruit aromas similar to Broadside and uh, King Goblin in a lot of ways. Certainly malty. Certainly a hint of biscuit on there and the dried fruit as well, so it's ticking boxes. Can't remember ever reviewing this on the channel. I'm sure I've drank it before, but I can't remember reviewing it. And uh, God, it's gone quiet, really quiet now. Usually can't tell yourself properly, but uh, yeah, made myself a treat. And I know I made people at the windows nosy, but um, these things happen. But the beer room's red hot, so I, I don't want to go in there and, uh, oh, it's nice to have a beer, just have a beer, relax, and uh, another, another red hot day done, another hot day tomorrow, kind of walked into work tonight, back at my other workplace, and there's plants sitting there, no one's asking me about what, what going in where, they chose the plants. And I love the, I love the fact that I'm not even um, spoken to about things. Um, yeah, I dare say the plants will die because I won't bloody water them. Out of spite. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see what happens tomorrow. We'll see if someone upsets me. Uh, making things, doing things without even consulting. Yes. Yeah, should be interesting. Um, we'll see where that goes. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Titanic Brewery. For me, absolute top class brewery. All about modern traditional for me. Yeah, they, they do a few bits in cans, but I, I don't regard them as anything other than modern traditional. And, uh, you know, they're certainly, they're, they're clever because this, the, the Grand Reserve, Plum Porter, uh, has commanded a high price for years. And um, and still commands a high price, and uh, you know I suppose if it sells and you put that price on and it goes, then fair play. I mean, there's obviously work gone into the beer, um, but it is interesting. It's interesting that our prices are worked out by breweries with the, for their beers.
And that's obviously before the recent government, uh, Conservative government, upping of duty on beer. And when you look at the government's finances, you think it's a bloody hell, this country's in a right mess. But stop the handouts, stop the handouts, the free handouts to anybody coming over. Sorry, we're closed. And until you do that, that all these millions coming in, you want to make the country inhospitable, where people don't want to come, where they want to leave, and leave in their droves. Um, too much, in some ways, we're too hospitable to every religion, and nationality and yeah I know they want a the open world but uh, you can see in countries where um, the backlash because of the people that live here and born here and in countries around the world where this happens and uh, you can see the backlash um, could you see a civil war in Britain <laughs> wow It's a, a frightening um, It's going to be interesting It says um, mm. I mean look at the city centres now Nottingham city centre There's nothing there You know we're good, We go to the outskirts But we don't, don't go in the city centre and the, and the council, the Labour council, have wrecked it. Um, there's a little bit too much, um, what's the word? Freedoms in some ways. I don't know. I don't know if I'm sure if I'm coming across the right way there, but uh, I know what I mean in the grand scheme of things. Um... We do seem to be becoming a lawless society. I mean, years ago there were police everywhere, and uh, the ambulances were, you know, you phone an ambulance, it comes pretty quickly. You phone the police, they come pretty quickly. Nowadays, you phone up for an ambulance, and, you know, someone's there got art uh, problems. Oh, it'll be five hours. Oh, I could fucking die in five hours. Um, yeah, yeah, strange world, strange world. Oh. So, yeah. 5.2, it's kicking in like a, a good 6% if I'm being honest. Um, it's hitting on really nice. The fact that I'm tired as well. And, but I'm loving the coolness out here. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, still reasonably light. I have got lighting. I mean, I can actually do. Once I put the lights in, and actually put a plug on them, uh, I can have lighting outdoors and actually do outdoor beer reviews. Even when it is stu st stupidly bloody warm. So yeah, crystal clear pour. Titanic know how to make a great beer. Look at that. Even in this uh, subdued light. It's... Uh, dried fruit, it's got that Adnams broadside um, kind of flavour kind of, um, flavor to it and, and aroma. It's funny that some of the best beers in supermarkets, I've got that dried fruit. King Goblin, Marston's or not, it's still a good beer. Um, broadside, Big Welter. There were beers like them and like this that absolutely hit the nail on the head. This for me should be in supermarkets as a mainstay. Um, it'd be interesting to do a taste test. That's if I can get it again. 
uh, without paying city, I'm not paying prepositional packaging. But um, I thought I saw somebody crawl up behind me then. Uh, yeah, I'll go back in the bay room tomorrow. Yeah, as if it's cooler. It in the proverbial, proverbial nail on the head um, all day long. So, yeah. Out of five, would I drink this again? Yes. Yeah, it absolutely nails it for me. And when I, when I say those other beers, I'm putting it in the category of some of the best beers in UK supermarkets. So, out, you know, it is quality. helicopter somewhere oh there you go I can see it now would I drink this again absolutely at five all day long a good 4.55 out of five Oof. so pleased I went to Matlock Bod and picked up the beer roll cheers all